Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. We're going to talk about the Power Rangers. The Power Rangers are going to get a new film and uh, TV treatment. Now, the interesting thing about this is that Hasbro is apparently going to use this to, to launch a Power Rangers universe or reboot the Hasbroverse. And it's possible that, very possible actually, that they're no longer going to use footage from Toys Super Sentai series, which I don't think is going to go very well. If you're asking for my honest opinion, I don't think this is going to go very well. So before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We're at about 150,000 subs so far, guys. Uh, thank you for the support. It's much appreciated. Let's talk about Power Rangers. So yeah, according to Bounding in the Comics, which is citing uh, let's see, this came from the Hollywood Reporter a couple days ago. They're planning to relaunch the Power Rangers with a, a Hasbro exclusive movie series, TV series, uh, whatever. We're talking about a live action uh, franchise. But the word on the street is they're not going to use Toys Super Sentai footage. Um, I don't think that's going to work out very well. I, I really don't. So let's go to the original article here first, and then we'll go over to Bounding in the Comics. Hollywood Reporter says, Power Rangers are getting a film and TV treatment from I'm Not Okay With This co-creator exclusive. John Entwistle will shepherd the next series of screen adaptations as Hasbro's E1 arm takes the reins of the superhero franchise. Uh, I don't think this sounds very good. They're talking about Hasbro's rich fan favorite brands. And Hasbro, look, they tried to do this Hasbro-verse thing, which I thought was a cluster. IDW tried to cobble it together. Like Transformers and G.I. Joe, and I guess kind of made sense, but then they brought Mask into it. They brought the Visionaries into it. I'm surprised they didn't bring Mr. Frickin' Potato Head into it. It was just kind of ridiculous. It was just a giant toy commercial. And I, I know each of these franchises individual individually are basically toy commercials but putting them all in one universe just didn't didn't make a lot of sense to me and i think they were trying to go for their own mcu and it really didn't work but now they're they're talking about you know uh bringing the power rangers into it too because you know the power rangers uh, were sold to hasbro uh Haim saban sold the power rangers to hasbro but i don't think that they get the uh sentai with that so we're going to talk about it um so they're saying this is an unbelievable opportunity to deliver new Power Rangers to both new and existing generations of awaiting and adoring fans. New Power Rangers. We have new Power Rangers every year when they release a Sentai series, I'm just saying. We'll bring the spirit of analog into the future. What? Harnessing the action and storytelling that made this brand a success. Okay. Power Rangers was a 90 was was a 90s TV series and global marketing franchise. What do you mean was? Power Rangers is still on. Did they not realize that Power Rangers has never gone off the air? That it's been on for like 20, 30 years? What the hell? Uh, in 2017, Lionsgate produced and released a feature that rebooted the title, making it less kid-friendly and giving it a more brooding YA edge. Uh, failed at the box office, grossing only $142 million. So, the, yeah, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's try this again. Let's uh, let's do a, a Power Rangers without the Sentai. Uh, get some Hollywood people involved and see what happens. Um, yeah, so they're talking about his representation and all this, this bullshit as agent. I, look, this is stupid. Um, because here's the problem. They're going to try to do it without the Sentai footage. They're going to do wholesale, whole cloth Power Rangers, apparently. Uh, according to Screen Rant, Power Rangers, Hasbro reportedly cutting ties with Super Sentai production company Toy, which I think is a bad idea. Hasbro is reportedly cutting ties with them, the production company that provided Super Sentai footage used in the long-running Power Rangers TV series. Hot take, Super Sentai is way better than Power Rangers. I like Power Rangers for what it is. I have a bit of nostalgia for it. I used to watch it with my little brothers back in the 90s. But Super Sentai is way better, way better. The partnership between the beloved toy company and the Japanese production house has spanned a few years, beginning in, but wait, has spanned a few years. Beginning in 2018, the Power Rangers franchise has been around much longer since 1993 with the creation of the live action Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, which implemented footage of the Japanese series. Uh, I think they're 
Da, 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 da. Anyway, I think they're they're missing something here. Uh, followed uh, five ordinary teenagers. Blah blah blah. The partnership between Hasbro and Toy is included. Power Rangers, Dino Fury, airing on Nickelodeon. In recent years, there had been hints that the franchise was headed in a different direction, ultimately abandoning the use of the Super Sentai footage altogether. 2017 live action film Power Rangers, anchored by the power of Lionsgate, it did not do well. And using original footage was meant to jumpstart a franchise. It did not do well. A year later, Hasbro acquired the Power Rangers brand, among other Saban entities, uh, signaling to fans perhaps a new chapter for the franchise was eminent. Now they're doing the comics over a boom. The comics I've heard from multiple people, including Yellow Flash. We were on a live stream with him last week, and he he said that the uh, the boom comics are actually very very good. I might have to look into them. Um, but anyway, the Illuminati. The Illuminati is reporting that Hasbro is cutting ties with Toy altogether. This means a lot of changes are about to occur, but there's for sure a main one. Future television seasons of Power Rangers will no longer be using footage from the Japanese counterpart Super Sentai. Huge mistake. Huge mistake. America can't do tokusatsu. They can't, they can't do it. It, it. it never works out. Look at all the Power Rangers live action movies. They've all been terrible. They've all been terrible. So uh, who knows what's going to happen, but they're trying to launch a Power Rangers universe across both film and TV, bringing it back to bounding in the comics, talking about how Boom is kind of laying the groundwork with the comics. And it seems like they're going back to the the original series, Mighty Morphin, because that is, you know, the most well-known. I mean, um, you know, Power Rangers was the biggest in the early 90s, early to mid 90s, right? Uh, that is the most well-known incarnation of it, but it never went off the air. I don't know why everybody's talking about like it being just a 90s thing. It, it never went off the air. Uh, the new Power Rangers universe will be produced under Hasbro's E1 production arm. Uh, at the end of December 2019, Hasbro confirmed they had completed the acquisition of Entertainment One. Um, and they're talking about all the exciting opportunities, right? How much did they pay for it? Uh, $3.8 billion? $3.8 billion. Well, it's more than just Power Rangers, but still, holy hell, that's a lot of money. Um, I mean, we're talking like that's what, what Disney paid for Marvel and Star Wars. They paid for Power Rangers. What? Anyway, <laughs> after the acquisition, it was reported that Goldner had told Inside Licensing they were developing a new Power Rangers film, which sucked ass. And, well, I guess it wasn't as bad as it could have been, but it wasn't great. Um, and they're talking about how they want to uh, create a Power Rangers universe. And they also teased other entertainment universes for their other properties, including Transformers, G.I. Joe, ROM, Micronauts, Mask, and My Little Pony. So My Little Pony exists in the same universe as Transformers, Mask, and Micronauts. That's interesting. Across our slate, we're looking forward to working with the most talented storytellers as we take on Hasbro's rich fan favorite brands and build entertainment universes around them. No, don't. Just, uh, why do we, why does everything have to be a shared universe? Why does it have to be a shared universe? Uh, so Mikey Sutton said in 2019 that the Power Rangers could possibly exist in the same cinematic universe as the Transformers. According to insiders I spoke to, their talks with Power Rangers are, 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 do coexist in the Transformers universe. Is that, look, the problem is this doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, it makes a lot of sense that they want, they want to cross-promote the toys and stuff. But you look at the mythology of the Transformers and the Power Rangers and all that, there's no way that this stuff could coexist, realistically. You know, it just even G.I. Joe's kind of a stretch. Like, you're telling me that G.I. Joe's worried about fighting Cobra when we've got freaking Decepticons trying to drain the energy from the planet and, and enslave the human race, but they're they're just worried about Cobra, you know? Um, a lot of it doesn't make sense, but uh, we'll see what happens. The bigger news for me is that they're going to ditch the Sentai footage. At that point, it's not even worth watching. Uh, that is my personal opinion. They get a whole bunch of Hollywood people involved. Uh, I think it's going to be a train wreck. I think it's going to be an absolute train wreck, but who knows? Maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised for once. Gonna wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Goodbye.